So what are some of the challenges that modern businesses are facing? One is the need for, for quick and regular change. On top of that, you'll put things like mergers and acquisitions where you're bringing different cultures together. You have a situation where, where teams maybe all done all in the same place but are spread around the world and have to be able to work together. We have a situation where there's a need to bring product to market incredibly quickly. Many organisations are either upsizing or downsizing, so they're bringing new staff in or they're letting staff go. And all of those successes are often dependent on people's ability to manage that situation. And how do people integrate that? How do they deal with that? Um, how do they make sure that they, they fit in? And uh, one of the things that works really, really well is, is coaching at either an individual level or a team level to kind of unpack the strategies for the individual to make it work, um, to keep provide feedback to the organization about what's happening with their staff. Uh, and then to create alignment once again between what the individual wants with what the team wants with what the organization wants. Maybe you're sitting there asking yourself, do I really need this? Um, I'm really doing well, I'm really smart. I've proven myself in so many ways. What would a coach and head do? You gotta ask yourself the question, at the level that you're at, what more could you do around self-development? You can't go on a training course anymore that's gonna teach you anything. You've done them all, you've been there, you've got the degrees, you've done the courses, you've got the years of experience. The journey then is no longer about what's out there, what can someone teach me, but it's more about you know, who am I? What am I as a leader? And that's the value that a coach has, is to explore that. Um, because I, that's often where we're the greatest opportunity to impact your world, uh, to impact your business, uh, to grow in the second half of your career. Is in that inner journey, and knowing that then, coaching is not for you. Um, because it requires that desire, that ability to go and look inside. Is that where I'm wanting to go? Is that the journey that I'm willing to take? Many of the people that I speak to are people who are really successful individuals uh, and many of them have worked really really hard in the first part of their career getting to where they are but many of them sit there and say Mike you know what the next half the next 20 years can't be like the first half uh, I don't have that energy I don't have the capacity I don't have that workload I can't keep going as hard as I am right now and it's that desire for what some people would call, call like a work-life balance but it's different it's about changing the way you do things because instead of just using pure energy and pure workload like you did perhaps for, for the first part of your career. It's about thinking more strategic. How can I do things better? How can I enjoy the second half of my journey? You know, how can I have a bit of fun doing this? You can still get the results that I'm getting. Um, and still be able to maintain the work-life balance with my family, my friends, have something outside of just my job and yet at the same time really, really continue to have a big impact and have a bigger impact going forward.